Complex Sentences A complex sentence is made up of two parts, an independent clause and a dependent clause. Remember that an independent clause is a group of words that could stand on its own as a complete sentence. It has a subject and a verb, and it expresses a complete thought. The other part of a complex sentence is the dependent clause. This clause also has a subject and a verb. However, it begins with a subordinating conjunction. You probably know these as a wobus words, although, when, unless, before, if, and since, just to name a few. When you put in a wubus word at the beginning of a clause, it is no longer a complete thought. It now depends on the independent clause to make sense. That's why it's called a dependent clause. Let's look at some examples. I'm going to read through the complex sentences on this slide while you notice how the ideas are connected by an awubis word in each sentence. I'll explain the structure on the next slide. After we eat, we're going to the movies. I always feel nervous before my team plays in a big game. I brought an umbrella because it's supposed to rain today. Even though I worked all summer, I still don't have enough money saved to buy a new phone. Did you spot the Awubis words in all four sentences? It looks like there's a lot going on in each sentence, but when you break down the pattern, it's pretty easy. Look at the sentence on the green sticky note. There are two clauses or ideas. We eat and we're going to the movies. These two actions are connected by time. When are we going to the movies? After we eat. After is our subordinating conjunction or wubis word, and that creates the dependent clause. After we eat doesn't express a complete thought. It's dependent on the other clause to make meaning. In our next example, the two ideas are, I always feel nervous, and my team plays in a big game. These ideas are also related by the word, by time, with the word before. When do I feel nervous? Before my team plays in a big game. The next example has a conjunction that creates a different kind of relationship. Because is a conjunction that indicates a cause or reason for something. I brought an umbrella. Why? Because it's supposed to rain today. The last example uses even though to show yet another kind of relationship between ideas. This one is a contrast. I worked all summer. We expect good things to happen, right? But look at the next idea. I still don't have enough money saved to buy a phone. That's not good. So we have a contrast between a positive idea and a negative idea. The next four sentences are well written and do not have any mistakes. These are all simple sentences with phrases. However, they could be mistaken for complex sentences if you don't know what to look for. Remember that a complex sentence must have two clauses. That means two subject verb pairs. Here's an easy way to check. Find the awubis word. Look to see that it's followed by a subject and a verb. If not, it's not complex. Let's try it. Look at the green sticky. Find the awubis word. After. After dinner. Nope, no subject and no verb. Now the yellow one. What's the awubis word? Before. What comes next? A big game. Nope, no subject, no verb. Now the last one. What's the awubis? Because. Because of the rainy weather. Of the rainy weather does not have a subject or a verb either. Here are two more non-examples. These sentences are written correctly, but they don't make sense. Jennifer went to the store since we printed out some pictures to hang on our wall. Jennifer went to the store has nothing to do with we printed out some pictures to hang on our wall. The chameleon changed colors, although the soccer match was on TV. Again, these clauses are not related. The chameleon has nothing to do with the soccer match on TV. The point is, if you want to create a complex sentence, you can't just pick a conjunction and put two random ideas together. They must be related, and they must use the conjunction to show that relationship. So why do we use complex sentences? Why not just stick with simple sentences? 
well, there are important reasons that we as writers choose to use them. First of all, we can join related ideas in one sentence. We do this to avoid short, choppy sentences that make us sound boring. Second of all, complex sentences show the relationship between ideas. Without the subordinating conjunctions, we wouldn't know how one idea is related to another. Another reason that writers use complex sentences is to help them express an idea more concisely. Concisely means clearly and with fewer words. This is helpful for avoiding long, awkward sentences that can make our writing more confusing. Look at our example. We have two sentences, or independent clauses. Flashes of lightning lit up the night sky. The thunderstorm rolled in. In order to show how these ideas are related, we have to show the relationship between them. We could write another sentence. These happened at the same time, but that's awkward. Let's create a complex sentence instead. As the thunderstorm rolled in, flashes of lightning lit up the night sky. See, we use the subordinating conjunction as to connect the sentences, to show the relationship between the two ideas, and to express the idea more concisely. Let's talk about punctuation. A complex sentence can be written in two ways. The first way needs a comma, and the second way does not. Rule number one, when the complex sentence begins with a dependent clause, you must use a comma before the independent clause. This comma helps you keep your ideas organized for the reader. Because it's supposed to rain, comma, I packed an umbrella. We see that the sentence starts with an awubis word because, which indicates our dependent clause. Our independent or main clause is, I packed an umbrella. The comma lets us know that the opener is not the main idea. Rule number two. When the sentence begins with an independent or main clause, do not use a comma. I packed an umbrella because it's supposed to rain. I packed an umbrella is the main or independent clause. The sentence begins with the main idea, so it's not necessary to use a comma to signal the reader, since it's not extra information. So what does this look like on the STAR test? Well, here's an example of a revision question. Read sentence three. When Maggie missed him, she would sit by the shore and the sound of the waves was what she would listen to. Notice the repetition of the words, she would. She would sit, she would listen. There's no reason to repeat the same words in one sentence. The best revision decision here is to use a complex sentence to express an idea more concisely, clearly and with fewer words. So look at answer choice D. When Maggie missed him, she would sit by the shore and listen to the sound of the waves. It's important to understand how good writers make choices about what types of sentences to use for different purposes. You may need to create imagery, describe a character, or increase tension. Let's look at how the author uses a complex sentence in this excerpt from The Treasure of Lemon Brown. He tried to figure out just where the breathing was coming from. He knew it was in the room with him. Slowly he stood, tensing. As he turned, a flash of lightning lit up the room, frightening him with its sudden brilliance. The author begins with, as he turned, to highlight the idea that this action happens at the same time as the flash, showing the suddenness of the lightning and adding to the tense mood. This was an intentional choice by the author. Let's look at another example from The Last Dog by Katherine Patterson. But even though the people in the ancient fictions frightened him a bit, he couldn't get enough of them. When no one was paying attention, he went back again and again to visit them. They had made him wonder about that other world, that world outside the dome. By opening with a dependent clause, the author emphasizes the idea that the character was not supposed to be doing what he's doing. It says, when no one was paying attention. This increases the tension and leads the reader to wonder what will happen when someone does pay attention. I'm nervous for him just thinking about it. Believe it or not, Understanding word choices and sentence structure will help you with reading comprehension too. 
Look at this reading star question. Look at the quote from the story in the box. Notice the complex sentence. When I'm on the Olympic team, you'll know what I mean. The author intentionally starts this complex sentence with the subordinating conjunction when to convey a specific thought that the character believes she will be on the Olympic team. She says when, not if. This matches the idea in the correct answer choice. C. Teresa believes that she is a better long jumper than she actually is.